Yeah. We're back, baby. We're back. What's up, everybody? It's your man, your boys, Alex, owner of Sheepy Race, father to three crazy ass kids, friend to only a handful of people, acquaintance to many, hated by a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. Uh, so this is probably some of the last episodes we're gonna film here at our lovely building. I remember, let's talk about this. I remember when I got this building, I was so scared. So, so, so scared. Um, I'm like, how am I gonna make this work? And uh, you made it work. Huh? No, 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 I just need something to put on. You hurt yourself? Got a boo boo? You guys remember that guy? Roasting my shit. What's up? The guy was on vacation. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody where you were, buddy? What were you doing? I was sleeping. What do you mean? You were sleeping. Yeah. I was on vacation yeah. in Florida. How was that? It was vacation. <laughs> the reality hits, huh? Money can't buy happiness. Money can't buy happiness. Amen to that. Giveaway cars being picked up. Evo. Deuces. The so next. I don't know where our giveaway R8 is, but. To drive this car, yeah, it's up in Brian's car. It's Brian, my dude, Brian. I saw my buddy Fleming roll through here, so I'm gonna go see what the hell he's doing. Where's Fleming? There he is, what's up? Oh, shit. What now? I'm buying a Ferrari, you shouldn't be over here. Please don't buy a Ferrari. <laughs> Why, you don't want him to have a man car or what? I'm just kidding. No! <laughs> Well, I don't know, dude. I gotta tell you something. In my R8 right now, it's on fire. Guys, Matt has both. It's okay. <laughs> Ferrari is at Lambo. He's got all that. What are you buying now, Fleming? Why are you over here? There's a 720 and an Aventador over there. We don't need either one. No? Fuck no. What do you need? Tell me what you need. A white for Monte? Come on, just fucking buy that perf already, bro. The, the perf's already turbo. The white no, one. No, the white one. It has a white one. I didn't see the perf. See? Bamboo. Uh -huh. No, what do you mean, fam? We were looking at making a deal on that what thing. What the fuck you need? You know that's what Jander needs is that. That's right here, Fleming. And it's five lug, too, so we can put race wheels on it. It's not spindle. What the hey, fuck is that? Hey, if you white, that car's available. P.E.S. Supercharged? What the hell's going on here? No, seriously, check this out. Look at the throttle bodies. They're like upside down, twisty. They sit in some funky spot. <laughs> Whoever you P.E.S. Supercharger dude is, Brother, chill out on reinventing the wheel. Dude, the, the craftsman's f dope. With the assistance of the West Coast employee, <laughs> here you are, sir. Thank you. What thank were you saying about the balloon white one? For sale again? Uh, I have direct access to the balloon white car. The one that was here before? Yeah. They want to sell it again? Yeah. He wants an F12. Can he? Can, Wait can a minute. He... We could have done a deal with my F12. Too late. You stopped. Fleming, get that balloon white one. Well, you don't want to get another Ferrari? You still want to be friends? <laughs> I don't have many friends, Alex. You I know, know you don't. I know that. <laughs> I mean, like, they might all be right here. <laughs> I'm going to go to the new building. All right, let's You're go. New let's take my art. I'm in an RE. I'm not riding with you, bro. I already told you. I'm not I'm riding with you. I'm not riding with you. I'm not riding with you. I'll race you there. I'm going to crack and race you there. Done. You'll, you'll lose whatever it is. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so what are the rules? The rules? Yeah. Get there first. Oh. Oh shit, you're right here. Hurry, Johnny, run it. Hurry, <laughs> I get a t-shirt! You almost f***ing lost it in the nah, thing. Nah, <laughs> dude, that's just, that's how they drive, man. Hey, get to that. Oh, buddy, that thing, I don't know power. what you did to the tune. It's a whole nother car. So, first and foremost, this is going to be the main entrance. Um, that used to be a main entrance, but we're actually going to make that my office. So we're going to build a guardrail, and that's going to be my hangout spot. There's going to be a fence here. For all the fans, the, uh, the no, girls. No, no. Shh, you know. Yeah. 
So um, this is gonna be my private parking, and then my entrance to my office. And this is the entrance to the whole store. So remember, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the brand here, so we're gonna have a full retail store. So we'll have a full retail store. Merch can get online as well with stuff that will only be exclusive through the store. Ah, okay. I don't think that you can capture the size of this building unless you're standing in this. Yeah, it's a big I mean, it's big. So when you walk in, this is gonna be the whole retail store. Um, you're gonna come in and up to, I believe they said, I forget what my guy said. This whole area right here from this pull back all the way is gonna have a wall 12 feet up. It's white wall, white floors. I can't really talk about what I'm gonna do in this area, but let's just say we're gonna showcase cars area when you walk in you'll see the cars full retail store right here cashier you know we would help and there'll be windows to look through the shop okay play half those carts here yeah. and set up a charging station so then we could go on like races outside during lunch Don't have to ask me twice. and then I'll keep two of them in here three of them so then when we go on tours people could just jump in one go around yeah yeah that's killer this is clearly the main entrance shipping area over there there'll be three lifts on along this wall for service, so we're always servicing cars. This guy's always breaking his car. So we'll put three lifts here to service cars. Along that wall, uh, it's gonna be 13 lifts. That's where the builds go, right? So along that whole wall. That's all builds. All builds. So as soon as the car comes in on the lift, it's not coming off until it's done. Okay. Um, that whole back area is all fabrication. So that'll be aluminum? All fabrication. So just exhaust and aluminum. Like the fab area right now in the old yeah. shop? It'll all be in there, enclosed. So you're gonna build a wall? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, this wall, this glass wall, right? Glass window right here. Yeah. That's gonna be one big room. It comes out um, and then goes in. So this whole area is gonna be one big room. Engine building and transmission building room. Oh, clean room. Yeah. Okay. So like out to here or is just do you like right here? Ah, okay. So from that wall, this whole this whole section to a, how how wide this this right here. wall is. Yeah. And then behind this wall. This is where I'm gonna put pallet racks and all the storage. So I'm gonna have a, a, a pallet racks that go all the way to the top. So every car, when it comes apart, everything goes on this pallet, gets racked up and just puts on a pallet. Right, yeah. All the way up to the root ceiling. Wow. I mean, it's the, the, the volume, as you see at the shop right now, with the amount of cars that are yeah. in there and keeping it organized is, it's a monumental task. With 100%. That. But with this, you're talking about, it's a game changer too. Yeah. I mean, like you say, each car's got a station, right? Each so. car that comes in will have a station. Um, that's why like the stage one cars that are one day job builds, they'll, they'll be built on those three lifts. This is essentially the big builds, right? Yeah. But they don't have to come off their lift. Car, this whole area right here will be kind of open for just cars sitting, waiting to be built or whatever the mm. case, they don't have to be moved. Along those two bay doors, there's gonna be, uh, I mean, two bay doors is engine, dyno, engine build, engine, I'm sorry, dyno rooms. Oh, okay. So we're gonna enclose the dinos over there. Okay. Two dinos, the one we have now, then a main line. Um, and then that whole corner over there is gonna be my private gym. And uh, the janitor's office? Yours? Yeah. Wherever you want it. Where, where are we gonna put that Let's at? Let's go inside. Let's talk about We gotta do that, right? Wow. I had no idea this was all back here. Conference room? Okay. So this will be a conference room, big conference table, big whiteboard, TV, so for meetings. Stuff like that, right? So as you guys see, they're patching everything up and they're gonna start painting in the floors. Come on, come on, So this is gonna be my office, so they're gonna put a door here. Ah, okay, so yeah. this will be where you... Yeah, this will be a door, and then that's where we have a guardrail to the outside, because I like to always be outside. Oh, so, yeah, walking. I'm always, so, yeah. I'm always walking around. Mm -hmm. So, cool, huh? Dude, this is, I had no idea this was all back in here. Whitfield's office. And then this will be like the ultimate hangout spot. We're gonna build a bar here. Along that whole wall will be a bar, dope TVs, couch, uh, a little fridge with waters and stuff. But this will be like the hangout, like on a Sunday of fight or game, we come hang out here. Dude. Cool. Well, I haven't been coming to this building for years. I have no clue. That was all there? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I knew there was something, but I had no idea. Yeah. All right. So upstairs, what? this is big headroom. Wait a minute. No daycare. Do you know how he goes to daycare right now? Yeah. I'm going to hire a nanny. Alonzo's fiance is going to watch him and take care of him. Oh, shoot. So we're going to build a whole daycare room here. Can we get Big Head? Uh, of course. Dude. So this is be Big Head's room, you know? Yeah. We're going to, he has a sink. We're going to do an electric stove. So then they can put, uh, or downstairs, but fridge. Yeah. This will be his room, snap area. We'll put a big whiteboard, build it all out. So he comes to work with me every day. Oh my God. Come on. It's 
freaking just killed it. Yeah. Elsa's office. Yeah, you gotta have that. Um, since so she keeps all the money. She's gonna have. She's gonna love that. That's a great view. Yeah, we're gonna get her an assistant too because she can't. It's a lot of moving pieces. Yeah. Um, Alonzo's office. Hey. This is the brand, so she be brand designing clothes, all that Alfredo. Uh -huh. This is Alfredo's office. Whoa, dude, check this out. Yeah, so it'll be dope. You know, all like the designs for all our brand and you know, growing the brand will all be made in this room. Damn. Sales office, Mitchie. And his, he, we gotta get Mitchell on the system, but this will be his office. And this little guy is actually Johnny's office. <laughs> <laughs> holding uh, the camera. That makes sense. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Looks like an upgrade. I'm gonna paint this bud. all black. Yeah. I'll just put like a lights, put my own music, yeah. and just like be on my own. Nobody's brand, gonna bro. bug you. Oh, nobody, bro. This is a good upgrade. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. This. Perfect. All the cameras and bullshit. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, a lot of that's going bye bye. The rack. You know, it's almost an interactive experience. If these guys are here, they're shopping, maybe there's some lounge area and they're actually able to look out into a very, you know, it's an organized shop now where it's laid out. Mm. Like you can clearly know, okay, that's what's happening over there. You know, you can clearly see over here, it's another situation and here's a third. So mm. it's a cool experience to then to have them just walk into a room with walls. Yep, oh, 100%. And, you know, this is a really unique. You don't really get to see that portion usually, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of the shops, it's, you know, don't walk in here, it's a rope and it's a liability and insurance. This you almost create a, an atmosphere for them to be able to see yep. what's happening. I'll have windows with uh, like bar stools, so then you could look out. Like if you want to like see cars getting serviced or whatever the case yeah. may be, you know, you could just hang out and hang out in the, in the retail room and enjoy it, you know? Cool. Yeah. The lobby in there is just gonna be for customers. So I'm gonna build something like in the retail store for people to be able to sit down, you know, as you know, there's a lot of younger individuals that I'm sure they're gonna have their parents bring them by. So I want them to, the parents to be able to be comfortable, right? Is it, is it, is it a full wall or is this a pony type of a wall that you could sit at? Remember, they have the wall here. It'll be a 12 foot wall. Oh wow, okay, so it's big. Yeah. But I mean, having a pony wall, it's almost like you know, if you remember before they took yeah, it out, yeah, yeah, the rail, and you could sit at it. You know, it had a, a tabletop, not big, but it's almost like you could sit here and just kind of check the shop out per se. I mean, instead of having a big wall and then looking through a glass plane, instead of walking up to that window and looking into the parking lot, here, it's just a pony wall with a little seating couch area right over here. And they're able to see out, interact. It's more of a tangible thing than just like looking through the glass thing. It's not a bad idea. Once you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I know that if I were to come walking in, I want to hear, see, it's almost a little bit of that smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, it would be uh, no, cool. No, it's a great idea. It'd be, you know, it just, it might be cool to have that experience of like your, you know, this, the expansiveness of this building will shrink when you go through a window. And I don't know, man. This is, this is amazing. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is do a YouTube episode series of building the Sheepy headquarters. Yeah. And then the next thing I'm going to document is um, <clears throat> episode series of building our first 3000 horsepower Lambo and document everything, how we do it. I can't keep this one straight. It could be because I got bald tires and one's flat. But I mean, that's just, that could, I'm not saying that 100% but could have something to do with it. This guy rocks all sheep. Almost, this is probably the only, wait a minute. Wait, what is that? Do I got one on? Nope. <laughs> oh, damn. He had to go to a meeting. He had to wear a couple buttons on his shirt today. How you doing, sir? Hey, there's some more around here. I'm in there, I believe, if we go down to the right, sir. Oh, All right, so yeah. are we racing for tacos? I got, I got this, dude. So, this was this morning. I can't believe how long these things are now. What the f did you get a ticket for? Well, it wasn't for going slow, but we could definitely race for some tacos. All right, you're driving, buddy. Alex is gonna have to ride with me, I guess. That. <laughs> All right, Fleming, I'll see you tomorrow, brother. Now you guys know kind of my vision with, with GP Race. I know we started with building turbo kits, production parts, building Lambos. The focus is to grow the brand. Um, I'm gonna tone down on building cars. Uh, as much as booked out we are with cars, I love it. Um, I'll be real honest with you, it creates a lot of stress for me. Like, <laughs> a lot of responsibility, a lot of stress. So I'm gonna tone it down. I'm gonna tone it down, be very selective over the cars I build. 
um, and, and still build cars, but more focus of the brand itself. Um, Alfredo Mancuso, as you guys know, he's brand manager. Um, so just always just growing the brand as big as we can, doing events now with hopefully the COVID thing kind of slowly goes away. Public events, we're gonna have a huge, huge, huge grand opening um, with a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, but yeah, everyone get ready. Um, I'm gassed up. Um, anyways, I have to wrap with this vlog. It's Friday, it's raining. So this video will be dropping today, and if you live in Southern California, you know it's, it's raining. But episode one of building the ultimate sheepy headquarters is done. Next week, we drop one. So we're gonna drop one every week. Next week, we also go live with episode one of building a 3,000 horsepower twin turbo Lamborghini. Listen, 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 listen. If I could build a two liter to make 1,500 horsepower, Give me three times the amount of displacement. We should be able to make 3,000 of the clutch holds. <laughs> See you next week.